Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Joyocan 67 inch tripod. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here it says stable, extendable, lightweight. Let's get it open. Here we have a camera mount. So this is a multi-function camera mount. You can mount it on the bottom here in this form, or you can mount it here for a traditional style camera. You could also put a tablet in here that might fit. Comes with a bag. Here we have the head, the arm, feet. So here's the manual. Has a quarter 20 mounting screw, quick release plate, quick release knob, vertical tilt knob, horizontal rotation knob, handle, handle on the tripod, sponge grip, leg flip lock, rubber foot. This talks about raising the feet. This has a hook on it. You can hang something from there, maybe like a camera bag to give it a little extra weight for stability. You can raise the head. This talks about the quick release plate and tilting the head. This talks about rotating it. Here's some notes on the back. You can pause and read through those. Let me get this assembled. I'll just screw the feet on here. So I have the feet on, I can pull this apart to splay it out. Now I'll thread the head on, then I'll screw the handle in here. So this has three different extensions on the legs. So you flip these up and pull these out. Has foam on all three legs here, which makes it easier to handle. It also comes with this strap, so you could wrap this around your hand and then carry something else while you're carrying the tripod, that's really handy. Now to mount a camera, I'll pull this lever and I'll pull this plate out. And it actually comes with two of these, that's super handy. So you can have one of these on your primary camera, and then you could have one on the smartphone holder and you could swap them out depending on what you're wanting to use. So here I have a GoPro mount with a quarter 20 thread on it, a female. So I'll tighten this down there and we can mount that in here. And here I have a Ricoh Theta 360 camera. I can put that in here. And if I want to swap these out, I just pull this here. Now, that didn't go in. If you have trouble getting these to fit, make sure you turn the little thumb screw down and that will fit just like that. So let me get the smartphone mount ready. I can take my smartphone, stick it in here, and that's ready to go. So to use this, I'll loosen this knob on my left to turn in this orientation. Then I'll loosen the handle to tilt up and down, like so. And then I'll loosen this to tilt at 90 degrees. Then if I want to lift it, there's a knob over here. Now this one doesn't have a hand crank, you just lift it up. And it does seem like there is a stop there, although I'm not going to yank on it, I don't know if it could go past there, but that will give you extra height. This also has a bubble level on it. So this does come with a Bluetooth remote, so you can go into your Bluetooth settings, you turn this on and you compare this with your phone and then you can press this to take pictures. So I'm going to move this to the floor so I can check out the height of it. Okay, so I'll let the legs down. I'll just pull all of these open. Now I'll clamp them in place. Okay, so the height of the floor to the camera lens is around 56 and a half inches. Now I'll raise it all the way up. And now the lens is around 67 and three quarters inches. So I'm just giving you these dimensions. This is a typical smartphone, so it may vary a little bit depending on your phone you're using or your camera in general. So this is a nice and tall tripod. So when I'm done, I can compact it down. Then I can collapse it down and there I can carry it with that strap. So I'll pull that off. I'll loosen this up. I'll loosen this up and I'll rotate it around. I'll probably put it on this side here like so, so that gives it a nice compact form. Let's see how well this fits in the bag. So I guess I'll put it feet first in the bag, like so, and we have plenty of room there. Of course, I'll probably want this in there also. Fits in there great. Then this has a strap. Okay, so I'm outside with the tripod. I have my phone mounted in it. You can see I can pan with this. I can move up and down. like so. So that's the Joyocan 67 inch tripod. There are many uses for a tripod like this. You can use it for cameras, 
smartphones, video cameras. There are two things I find that are very important if you're making videos is to have a, something like a tripod and to have good audio. So this fills half that bill. So I like that this is small when it's all folded up. It fits in the bag very well and you have this holder in the bag also. So you could just throw this in the back of your car. You could be at some sort of gathering and someone wants to take a group picture. You can pull this thing out, put your smartphone on it, and then you can take a better picture than leaving someone out of the picture or trying to lean the camera up against something. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.